Lieutenant Colonel Cedric Layton, former member of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Gordon Chang, author of Nuclear Showdown, North Korea Takes on the World, and Sumi Terry, former CIA senior analyst on Korean issues, who's, of course, spent a lot of time on the ground. Colonel, let me just start with you, though. Is Kim Jong-un primed for a, mu uh, a, nu a nuclear test? It sure looks like it to me, Aaron. And the reason I say that is there's so many preparations in and around their main nuclear testing facility uh, that uh, the evidence seems to be very close to the evidence we've seen at prior nuclear tests. So my view is that, yes, they are st uh, really ready for a nuclear test at this point in time. And Sumi, there's also with this this rhetoric, this situation, Trump talking about his armada sailing up along the Korean coast, to nuclear submarines, Kim Jong-un mm -hmm. responding in kind. Can Kim Jong-un back down now? Well, Kim Jong-un cannot back down. He has to show some sort of, uh, he has to act in some way. But I'm not sure if six nuclear tests this weekend is the answer. Sure, North Korea is ready to uh, test, that's for sure. But I think there are other things that Kim Jong-un can do. He can do just a normal missile test. He can uh, bring out an ICBM and showcase that. Um, yeah. That will give him a safe-facing measure uh, without necessarily conducting a nuclear test this weekend. Right, and as you point out, it would be the sixth test. I mean, mm -hmm. it's very significant, as people understand. This doesn't happen all the time. This would be a huge, a huge event. Gordon, I mean, we are moments away from this, uh, you know, whatever it might be, parade, military procession in honor of the, uh, the, the Kim family. The whole world is watching Kim Jong-un tonight, right? This is what he wants. The whole world is watching. How does he react? Well, I think that he's got to show, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. some strength. But also, we've got to remember that if this were, let's say, Thursday, we would all be saying that there would definitely be the sixth test. But I think Trump stunned Xi Jinping, the Chinese ruler, and it also stunned Kim Jong-un, especially with the mm -hmm. test that mother of all bombs intended to go after underground facilities, and North Korea has a lot of them. So I think that they probably won't test, and the reason is until they think they figured him out, they're going to be very cautious of dealing with the American leader. And, and Colonel, you know, North Korea's vice foreign minister saying, I just want to quote what he said, we are comparing Trump's policy toward the DPRK with the former administrations, and we have concluded it's becoming more vicious and more aggressive. I mean, that's certainly objectively a true statement. Uh, when Obama was president, though, uh, Kim Jong-un was obviously incredibly, incredibly aggressive towards him as well. He, he, he play, had videos where Obama's head was erupting in flames. New York City was being struck by a missile. I mean, Colonel, what will Kim Jong-un really do to Trump? Well, one thing he could do, one of the other things that happened was the Sony hack. And one possible scenario is that North Korea may choose to use its uh, cyber efforts, its cyber warfare unit, to actually go in and do something uh, that would uh, affect not only the critical infrastructure in the United States, but also potentially in, in South Korea. They've already done that to the banks there and to the media in South Korea before. And uh, it could be another choice for them uh, as uh, this anniversary comes up. Yeah, of course, Gordon, their goal obviously is, though, ultimately the United States. That's what this is about. That's what gives uh, Kim Jong-un yeah. in so many senses his legitimacy as that adversary. Um, the vice foreign minister also said, if the U.S. comes up with a dangerous military option, we'll deal with it uh, with our preemptive strike. This means war, uh, which is what they came out directly and said. How far is North Korea along in its nuclear program? I mean, if they don't test, is that a sign of weakness in any way? Well, it, it certainly is. But they will test because they got to sell this stuff to the Iranians, and the Iranians want to see if it works. You know, they have maybe somewhere between 15 to 30 weapons at this point, hmm. and they're probably at the point where they can accelerate the enrichment of uranium so they can actually put maybe three or four more bombs a year into their arsenal. And that makes them a real threat because they can disperse them, they can put them underground, we can't find them, and it gives them sort of a sense of deterrence. And, and you know, when the U.S. talks about a preemptive strike, as, 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 mm -hmm. as Trump has said, right, obviously the real question is, you know, would they be able to strike back at a level and, and cause millions of casualties possibly before the U.S. could obliterate their program? As a former CIA analyst, do we even know, as the United States, where all their nuclear facilities are, how deep below the ground they are. Do we even know? We certainly do not. I mean, we know some sites, but we do not, cannot count for all the sites. There are a lot of covert sites that have nuclear uh, weapons and missiles. Um, this is why brinkmanship is such a dangerous ploy. I mean, I, I think right mm -hmm. now, either we have to back down uh, and look sort of weak, or we have to sort of follow through. So if there is a nuke test, what are we going to do? Uh, other, right? I mean, if we don't do something, uh, yeah. it makes us look sort of weak. And Colonel, is, it, is that the case? If there is a test, whatever that is, if it's tomorrow or five days from now, whatever it is, you're all agreeing it's happening. Well, Does yeah. Trump have to strike or do mm -hmm. something? 
He doesn't have to, uh, but he's also done something where he's... But he's he, not a guy who wants to look weak. I mean, we all know that. I mean, as you know, right. Sumi is saying, I mean, if, if he looks weak, he wouldn't, he wouldn't accept that, would he? I don't think he would, and that's, I mean, he, technically he doesn't have to do something, but I think he would, and uh, the question is exactly what form that action would take. Uh, he has to be very careful to uh, keep everything that he does within bounds so that it doesn't precipitate, uh, for example, an artillery attack on Seoul or something like that. Uh, that, of course, would be a very difficult and terrible scenario, uh, but I think that what will happen is we will get to the brink, and uh, he, both he, President Trump and uh, Kim Jong-un uh, will figure out some way out of this, but it'll be very, very close uh, to that 11th hour. Well, of course, we are talking about two leaders who are very, very unpredictable and in, in a bizarre